in these simultaneous equations, you can see we've got minus 3m here and there. If you have exactly the same thing in both equations, you should subtract them. This is the same as this, so when you subtract them, you get 0, which is great, because you want something to disappear and so make things simpler, like you have here. Minus 3m take away minus 3m is 0, 4n take away 2n is 2n, 26 take away 16 is 10. So we're left with 2n equals 10. So n equals 5. Once you have one bit of the puzzle, i.e. n equals 5, then it's easy to solve the remaining bit, that is, what is m? To work out m, I need to put my answer for n into equation 1 or 2. It doesn't matter which one. Substituting n equals 5 into equation 1 means sticking this 5 here in place of n. So now equation 1 becomes this. I like to put the stuff you replace or substitute into brackets, but you don't have to. This means 4 times 5, so this becomes minus 3m plus 20 equals 26. This plus 20 becomes minus 20 on the other side, so minus 3m equals 6, m equals minus 2. So, to summarise, we saw the m's had the same amount in both equations, so we subtracted, we got rid of the m's, and then we could easily solve the n bit. Once we got the n, we could go back and solve the m.